Because they were spelling something. Um, <laughs> those ones, you don't get any auto-gen matches. You only do the challenge matches. And this is a challenge match for the Melody Tournament. So we're going to see some Melody Racing here. It's going to be good. Countdown is on. Decivian, yes. <laughs> it does say that. Not Division. <laughs> All right, and we're underway. So it is Melody. Uh, Melody is a really fun character to play if you've not played as Melody. Usually it's probably the third character that people play behind Cadence and Bard. And uh, yeah, the way it works is it's the loot mechanic the whole time. You get no other weapons. So that puts a lot more value onto the other items you can get in this with this character. A lot of the auxiliary weapons. Specifically, you're looking for damage up weapons and mobility. Sorry, damage up items like uh, spells <clears throat> and uh, some torches and also mobility. So you want to be yeah, able to move easy. You can't increase the damage of the loot. Correct. Yes. So you want to find other ways to do damage because the loot always does one damage. There's yellow that also there. really limits what the item pool is going to be like in things like Glass Shop, Blood Shop. Yeah, yeah, your pool is in specifically black chests. They're going to be either boots or armor. And we did get some armor pickup for Civ. The other Civ did not get any armor. <clears throat> so it's in the black chest. I imagine you usually go for the black chest. I think with Glass, you'll also probably go, although Civ just bumped one of the pieces, so that Civ is not going to be able to get anything out of I'm the losing armor my chest. mind. <laughs> <laughs> but Siv finds heavy plate, and so the other Siv uh, is not going to be able to have heavy plate, and is just going to have to roll with nothing. That's really unfortunate. Hopefully find plate mail somewhere. But that means that Sivir is going to find... Uh, going to Ooh, darkness! Darkness is good. Yeah, and both racers are going to take it. Darkness means you're going to have lowered aggro. Enemies are less likely to see you because it removes all the torches from the walls. Very nice. So Sivir is in a much better spot right now than Siv Kriya, just with the armor alone. And plus, you may have noticed Ooh. that uh, that Melody has only two hearts. Yeah, I was gonna say that was a little scary because uh, the armadillo, you not with darkness, you can't tell what color it is. And like to deal damage to it, you have to like put your way in danger. Sivir taking some hits and having to go uh, retrieve that shovel and praise ham plus glass armor. Things looking a lot better for Siv Kriya right now. And uh, looks like Sivir's going to actually not go in that shop. There is ham in that shop. And this is so awkward. This setup is terrible right now for Sivir. Siv Kriya is ahead. Now, is Siv Kriya going to go for purple for the ring swap potential? Doesn't do the bomb strat, feels bad. So there's a great bomb strat you can do with dark, death metal for um, for Melody, where you scoot alongside death metal and plant a bomb when you're next to death metal. And you do like, I think it's like eight dam or seven <coughs> damage all in a row. It's real good. Sivering at this race. Hmm. There's the <laughs> ring swap, a ring of gold. That's fine. Any ring swap's good just to get your vision a little better. The Melody Quick Kill was actually how I learned how to do the death metal fight uh, as Cadence. Yeah, it's it's related, that's for sure. That's cool. Yeah, I do always say that every character <laughs> in this game taking a hit, every character in this game <laughs> does have uh, something to tell you about Cadence, which is cool. So every character teaches you some kind of important Cadence-based thing. And uh, Melody is both using the well, I guess is, I find that Melody teaches you how to scoot. Whoa, that shop was different. Um, I didn't see what was different in um, Siv Kriya's shop. Siv Kriya's was bad, and Sivir's was all good. The only, yeah, they, they both had peace, but there was a plate and a grenade charm, I think. Although grenade charm can be quite bad for Melody if you're getting full surrounded, you want to be able to bomb yourself. If you throw your bombs away, you can't kill the full surround. Because if you don't know, you can't do damage if you don't move with this character. And so you cannot bump into enemies. It doesn't hurt them. All right. Well, this has been a pretty good race for Civ so far. We got uh, lots of protection. We did get another heart container for both racers too, which is really nice. 
And here's where you want to use a bomb. Uh, and Sivkriya is not going to. Maybe he's going to bomb here? Yep. You kind of want to do it first. It's a little easier to get that bomb and not get yourself stuck, but uh, worked out. Now Siv is going to go for a ring. Don't take the ring of shielding. Oh, that's the extra heart, of course, is from the ring of peace. That took me way too long to figure that out. I'm not so I'm I'm not as used to Melody's meta. Um, not really looking for bombs. Here is what you want. Just... That shrine of space is so good because it gives you a miner's cap. Miner's cap is the best item in this character's character pool. So we are gonna see that picked right. up. So Miner's Cap gives you so much mobility and safety, it's insane. It's insane how good it is. Shovel of Courage is fine, but Miner's Cap is better. In fact, uh, it's kind of cool because those items are both kind of counterparts. You don't really want them both. Mm -hmm. um, but they are, depending on which character you're playing, like Diamond, it's a lot better to have the Courage over the Miner's Cap. Oh. Please and be careful. Depends. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. Confused. So one get of up. the problems with the miner's cap though is you tend to get a lot of swarming. <sighs> so you just have to be really prepared for that. Nicely handled by Siv Korea. And Siver there had a pulse using the pulse. So that's five damage, and normally you can only do one. So pulse is very, very good. Like I was saying earlier, any sort of damage spells is really good. I think Siver is really hurting for some armor now. Yeah, not getting that flawless off the first boss is really causing, uh, costing Sivkriya. And Sivkriya there, getting down to Konga just a little late. Now, I've done a little bit of uh, intel here on Konga fights, and I believe just mashing the lines, if you're reasonably efficient about it, is actually uh, faster. Oof, Sivir losing the flawless though, getting bombed. Oh boy. And Sivkriya trying to do a bomb strat on Konga didn't work out. So it's gonna be a little bit of a faster fight for Sivir. But Sivkriya doing all right, keeping it flawless. So I imagine Sivkriya is gonna go for the armor here. Um, Sivir's armor, never mind. Trying to go fast. I was gonna say, Sivir's armor is not doing a whole heck of a lot though when you only have half a heart. That is a big egg. That is like an ostrich mm, You can make it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm thinking of breakfast now. Oh yeah, think of the omelet you can make with that. That'd be Huevos El Diablo. Since it is a deviled egg, of course. All right. So Siv, you want to stay on the. This is awkward for both racer coming in from the side. You want to stay on the on the electro uh, line here. Very important. Ooh, I missed that. How did um how did Siv Kriya get their health back? I also missed it. I'm gonna guess found some food. There was actually some health in that shop, but there's no time. Oh boy. Yeah, this is spicy. Oh no. Oh, Vacation Minotaur for Siv Kriya and Sivir on to the Necrodancer fight here. Now, very importantly, this first move in the Necrodancer fight, you can get an easy lure, and it's important to do that. Uh-oh, Sivir's oh, getting a little bit surrounded. Yeah, you like this fight? It's just oh, I love this chaos. Fight. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they found a good balance for... Oh, uh, oh that's a lot of bombs and we are like neck and neck right now this is so insanely go, close go 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 oh, and i think it's gonna be Siver. oh civ wins civ wins <laughs> wow that was awesome gg what a race so close i love it that's like punching a mirror right pretty here fast. yeah that was great so uh seven second difference between the two racers just under. Well done, GG. That was fun. I feel like if Siv Kriya didn't flawless, or did flawless that first boss, that would've been Siv I live for Siv. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Very good.
Civ 1 as predicted. Yep. All right. Race 2 is underway. See if that miner's cap comes a little earlier or not. Just as long as it shows up for both racers. Oh my goodness. Oh my wow. goodness. Oh boy. That's not going to work. Or is it? Oh, it is going to work. Just it barely. Is. Uh, Civ Korea, I hope you're screen watching. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. <laughs> okay, oh, guys. Time no. to see how lopsided the miner's cap is. I think it's still worth resetting if you're Civ Korea. So Civ Korea needs to find the... Um, Transmute. Interesting. Yeah, shovel here. Oh, wow. <laughs> saved. Hashtag saved. Wow. Are you kidding me? That's so good. That is really important. That's so good. Okay. The equalizer, my favorite. Yes. I would say that the uh, miner's cap is slightly better, but I agree. that was really important for Civ Korea to find that because doing this whole run without miner's cap and your opponent having it. Got some boots of ballet. Those are not that helpful. And we're going to see that shovel swap here for Civ, and it's not going to do much. But they do get a Blast, Blast Helm. Helm. Nice. Uh, so they're going to actually swap away from the Miner's Cap for a Blast Helm. Uh, so just kind of in a better spot now than Civ Korea. I guess that really means that uh, Sivers in the lead didn't take that time to get the Miner's Cap and isn't like... Yeah. Isn't losing? Isn't you know having lost that time for it? It's just the blast helm that you're lacking. That's a pretty that's a pretty big downer, but it's all good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So the pink shovel is the courage shovel, and what it does is let you move through the walls without it move and dig. And when you do, you don't take any hit damage. You're safe for the next beat. Really smart way to set up to use um, blast helm and still get the same uh, quick kill on death metal. Oof, Civ Korea though, taking a hit. Oh! Yeah, that's not good. You're looking for like a heal spell or something here. Coral Rift is a very awkward fight, especially with no bombs. You can see the Blast Helm mm. paying out big right now. Very smart recognizing though the drums and moving to the side rather than advancing on Coral Rift. Yes. Yeah, you can get yourself in a real pickle with this boss. Although I feel like Civ Korea is playing a little scared. You could. Be a little more aggressive, but that's fair. Korriff can be bad, and Korriff could dunk you here. In the dunk tank. All right, and you can see Sivir has completely caught up. They are neck and neck. Wow. Ooh, that's a good ring. Nice. All right, now you can push. Just don't get snagged. Okay, so Squega, Heal of Regen, Courage. Yeah. The boots of ballet, which aren't going to do much right now, but they're, you know, looking fancy. <laughs> Twinkle and toes. And pulse is a good find. And we're not going to see that for Sivir. Wait a minute. Are they on the same floor? Ow. Am I confused? Yes, I'm confused. Never mind. This is fine. Oh, boy. Oh, that is boy. a bit of a pile there for Civ Kriya. Nicely done. And we get the heal for Sivir. Nice push. There is a rhythm. Got oh, frozen. Oh, 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 oh. Mine, uh, uh, <laughs> Blast Use Helm. the bomb. Blast Helm's good there. Uh, a little spicy. Ooh, we got big bombs, but we don't have any bombs to use that on. Blast Helm would be so good for Civ Korea right now. And just down to the conga fight first. This is why Melody Racing is so good. It is fast and or furious. Who's the rock and who's Paul Walker? We will find out. <clears throat> oh, nice pulse there by Silver. I don't know if we're going to get that same pulse. No, we're not for Civ Korea, unfortunately. Oh, here we go. Oh, I didn't set it I up. I had them backwards on the layout. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay. And a couple of hearts. Nice, containers. extra hearts there. Yeah. Ow! Mmm. Got a kiss from the uh, black bat. Yeah, it's a bit of a party in that uh, boss room. But Civ Korea trying to catch up. Didn't get the two heart containers. They were just over to the left. 
But you can see how good that pink shovel is. Just piling through. This is really nice push right now for Sibkria. Trying to catch up. Oh, oh don't get yourself locked in. Don't forget about your spells. Bum, 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 Ooh, bum. Getting hit by a dragon. Bum. Oh. Rip Siv Kriya. And of course, the immediate potion. That's always how it goes. As soon as you, as your opponent dies, the other guy gets a potion. Makes everything safe. <clears throat> nice wall pig guarding the exit. <laughs> I love a well-placed wall pig. So good. Ooh, very nice having pulse there for uh, Fortissimo. I was gonna say, like, that's probably an extremely awkward fight for Melody otherwise. A lot of things can be quite awkward for Melody. Uh, these dragon fights can be real bad if you don't, yeah, have a pulse or something. Just because they have so much health. Diagonal Blade Masters. Uh, I don't use harp weapons either. And when I have occasionally had a harp in, in Zone Four, and I get the diagonal attack from them, I'm just a little more concerned. You know, there was a time where the harp didn't knock diagonally, and it was real awkward. It just like knocked it. I don't know, orthogonally in some way. I forget how. Oh, there's the bomb. Nice job. Yeah. So it does six hits, six hearts. And then it's an easy cleanup for the death metal fight. But Sivir is on the Necrodancer fight here. Just needs to not get full surrounded. If they get Return full surrounded, they do not have a way to get out of it unless Necrodancer bombs you. But it's Good lures. Yep. Using those pulses. Hey, that was cool. Wow. I like okay. That. That's cool. That was GG. really good. So Sivir wins game number two. We got one more for you. Let's get our big moment though, which of course was this unfortunate exit for Sivir, or Siv Kriya, where um, needed to kind of zig when they zagged, didn't use their pulse as much as they probably could have, and then ultimately went down. Is that a new fastest? How fast was that? Uh, seven minutes on the nose, nice. Yeah, Siv, uh, Sivers putting it in chat, in the race chat. Okay, let's do the 1-1 one, one shop check and reset if it's bad. Wow, it's cap. Wow, we have Courage Shovel in 1-2. I guess I get 75 gold for the head transmog. Hello, Blast Helm. That is exactly what happened. Yeah, that was awesome. And then the other Siv said, I said out loud, he has Miner's Cap, so I better get Courage Shovel first try here or I'm screwed. And then did. I love it. It's great. Yeah, the loot <clears throat> slots are Sivs. Um, and unfortunately, the actual loots are Sivs as well, but um, I didn't get it soon enough to actually put it in. That's okay. Still cool. It's good layout. All right, let's get this next race going. There we go. Whoops, let's reset the timer so it's not. Good. All right, three bombs. Ooh, we got a purple chest, earth tomes. And a transmute with no money. You can bomb for it. I don't think it's the worst idea. Mirrored, ah, let me fix it. Sorry Sivir about that. going for it. Thank you, monster. It's just Civ versus Civ. Yeah, it's totally perfect. A big <laughs> dig, a big dig is okay. It doesn't up your damage, but it does give you a little bit more uh, mobility. A little bit. It's slightly more efficient digging. But you can also dig open these walls. We got a blood shop. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, yeah, bye, Freddy. that's <laughs> really nice. And you could, oh, you could have, well, I guess bombing there's fine. You could also blood shovel it open or blood drum it. Not gonna take the blood drum, I think that's fair. Oh, we got the pink shovel. Sivir farmed up for it. So a pink shovel pickup for Sivir. Siv Kriya, unfortunately, doesn't have that. And I think Sivir is gonna go for this plate plate mail. Let me let me ask you something about the uh, the dungeon master there. Um, mm -hmm. ha I've heard that dungeon master regens every beat, so you can't just you have to deal ten damage in one hit to to one shot him, right? The guy at the top. Yeah. I didn't know you could kill him. 
It's he, possible. He regenerates every but frame. I believe oh. Every frame. So you have to deal, I think, all the health in one, in that one hit. Oh, he drops a load of money. Really? Okay, I didn't know any of this. <laughs> I've been playing this game for like seven years. 10 plus damage in one frame. So you could earth him. Yeah, okay. How much money Man does he pulse. drop? So he, yeah, anything that does dino damage. Anything that does the dead ringer kill. Mm-hmm. So we see Siv Kriya keeping a slight lead, but it is dwindling fast with Sivir having the pink shovel. Ooh, I do Ooh, like the Torch of Foresight. Yeah, that's a really nice one. Ooh, so many bombs. Hello? That's Siv great. Kriya's got... Didn't even want the other well, three. It's like, yeah. eight's enough. Not worth. Never mind. Oh, even like with the Minotaur going down there, still not nah, enough. Nah, it was like five beats wasted. You could go that way. Oh, you can see how good the Torch of Foresight <laughs> is. Sivir finding a uh, trapdoor that Siv Kriya did not find. Sivir also stocked up on bombs. Yeah, drop the bomb. Nice. Good kill. Good kill for Fortissimo. Yeah, you want to use those bomb kills. They're good to practice. The timing of can be a little awkward. Otherwise, it takes a real while, as we're seeing Siv Kriya right here. Yeah. <laughs> and was it a, I think it was a scroll out of that purple chest. So you want to mm -hmm. go, probably not purple. That's fine. Not a great item. And yeah, Siver just pushing. Fortissive mole. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> That's a good food shop. Food shops are really good for Melody. Hey, Bants, uh, let me fix that for you. There you go. Melody's, Melody's a hard-working mom. She needs a good meal. That's right. Ow! Hey, Ooh, look, heavy, heavy plate. plate. Okay. I mean, plate mail to heavy plate, not a huge deal. I think that's one that people overvalue it slightly when you have plate mail. It's fine. Same with getting plate mail over chain. It's still good. Don't get me wrong. But, you know. There's nice. The There's the Oblivion strut. That's Oblivion Strat, right? What? For, uh... The, for no, Kanda. that's called the Ozuma special. Oh, Ozuma. My yeah, bad. the Oblivion is a uh, is a Dead Ringer Strat. We won't be seeing that with these Melody. Yeah, that's when, called the when Ozuma When is the uh, Dead Ringer Melody mod? <laughs> oh, jeez. I think people have tried Mel uh, Dead Ringer with uh, Melody and with Arya and all the other characters. There's a way to do it. Well, that's the originally, it was originally the Ozuma special, but people now call it the Bomb Zuma special to uh, differentiate it from the Earth Zuma, where you can do the same thing, but with the Earth spell. Nice bomb there by Civ, tactical bomb. That ogre must have been so mad. Just every single swing was a miss. <laughs> yeah, he must be real mad. Oh, oh no. Uh... You have spells. There you go. Just used it in time before taking that hit. Although it really wouldn't have been that bad. Oh gosh, getting cornered is kind of really scary. Marv doesn't get hit by Dead Ringer. That would be a panic attack. Marv is the true final boss of this game. Oh my god. Stronger than Dead Ringer. Holy moly. Huh. Flaws, yeah. So the fear, the fear scroll there. Imagine using. Would fear work on um, return of? Oh, it's super strong. Did somebody miss a fear scroll? Yeah, Siver didn't take it. I oh, was gonna it's say really good. Yeah, it ends the fight essentially. Oh, would Necrodancer literally just go into the lava? <laughs> I forget if he is feared. I think he is. But if not, um, I mean, it's still. Oh dear, yeah. Siv Kriya is getting absolutely obliterated right now. Use your bombs. Uh, Don't. Not then, though. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, finds finds a nice shop. Friendly shop. The dragon did not even get hit yet. It's putting in work. That uh, blue dragon needs a raise from the Necrodancer. He earned his Patreon. anime. <laughs> earned his anime. The Necrodancer is also feared. Yeah, Fear Scroll's so good. 
is an awkward deep lose. Seeing Sivir going with lures now. The wind mage saying no lures for you. <laughs> Getting in the way. Awkward fight. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, placing yourself there to stop the spawns is also pretty good. And GG. So Sivir taking it. Siv Kriya immediately dropping off. Well done there, Sivir. You win. All right, so that's a 3 0 for Sivir. That's fast. Whoa. Dot fastest. That is super dang fast. Yeah, they were finding some really good items. All right, and that concludes our Civil War. Hope you all enjoyed. We're going to move on to a Titanium Division race. Are you good for one more race? Yeah, hit me. All right, so this race is going to be Sparky versus Plectro. Just getting the layout set, and then we'll be underway. Let's take a look at some screenshots. Upon review of race one, Speed Frog. Speed Frog versus Biggie Mac. Oh, that was interesting.